A hazmat scare at Sarasota's Planned Parenthood facility this morning leads to an evacuation of all 38 people inside and seven were taken to the hospital. And we're learning tonight the culprit appears to be cleaning supplies with improperly secured caps. ABC 7's Bobeth Yates joins us live from the Planned Parenthood facility in Sarasota with more details. Bobeth? Well, Scott and Haley, we've all been told before, be careful with cleaning supplies. And that warning is a little bit more evident today because cleaning supplies could be the cause of these doors being closed all day and seven people being transported to the hospital. One by one, Planned Parenthood employees were carted off on stretchers with respiratory concerns. What our hazmat teams have found was a uh, substance in the stairwell. After further analysis, we found that it was baby formula that was spilled in the stairwell due to the uh, evacuation process. And we have also found uncapped cleaning solutions uh, in the building. Assistant Fire Chief Bill Hoge says the fumes coming off the unknown chemicals may be what started the concern. Where we found the uncapped cleaning solution is where everybody experienced the shortness of breath, kind of in that immediate area. That's where they were uh, working at the time. But since the actual origin of the chemicals were unknown at that point, officials initiated what they're calling a mass casualty level one response, which included a response from officials from the fire department, police department, and Sarasota Memorial Hospital. We didn't know what the fire department had there, so we automatically go to the, the top level of decontamination uh, so that we can just have all the people in place, all the medical people in place, all the equipment in place that we needed. Seven individuals from the Planned Parenthood chemical scare were transported here, the ground floor of the South Garage at Sarasota Memorial. They transformed this entire area into a makeshift chemical cleanup, and officials say that's exactly what those individuals experienced. What we wanted to do was make sure that we got any chemical or any other product off of them before they went into the ECC. All seven transported to Sarasota Memorial are expected to make a full recovery. In the meantime, officials do not think this was malicious. We feel at this time that it was an accident, um, an oversight on um, uncapped cleaning solutions. Now, Planned Parenthood officials did release a statement thanking first responders for all their help. Now, officials also are looking at the suspicious products and they're saying that they're looking into to see what exactly they are. So more testing is underway with those. As for the seven individuals, they're doing okay. Back to you.